I, I woke up this morning feeling so tired, like extra tired. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do a little get ready with me this morning because I did get a new foundation the other day. Um, so I just wanna try it. And then I am gonna be putting in my extensions starting from scratch. Uh, and I haven't showed like a, when I straighten it or that like faux blowout kind of thing I do. So we'll do that in a little bit. As I get ready this morning, I am going to do a bit of a voiceover. The kids have a movie going on in the background. Before I start curling my hair, I'm gonna add in a little bit of heat protectant and make sure my entire head gets covered. You can skip this part if you want, but when I wear extensions, I find that the little hairs around my neck will be shorter than my extensions, making it more obvious that I am wearing them. So to hide them, I part some hair around the nape of my neck and a little bit above my ears toward my temples. And I just put that section into two and put them into two small braids. When I get to the end of the braid, I just use one of those little tiny rubber elastics, but I like to make a little loop at the end. I just find it easier to pin in where the end isn't like sticking out at any point. Using a couple bobby pins, I just crisscross the braids in the back of my head and pin them down until I feel like they're secure enough. Then I just go around and straighten all of my natural hair. At the end of the strand, I just use the straightener to flick it and give it a little bit of a curl so it's not completely pin straight. And I'm just going to repeat this process all around my head, just making sure I get close to my roots because I get these little tiny uh, spiral curls. Uh, so once I just get this all straightened out and smooth then I'll go back and add my extensions next I know a lot of you guys comment when I have my hair like this I really do like it and I have been wearing it more and more I just switch it up from time to time so sometimes I'll wear it like this sometimes I'll put in my extensions when working with the very top of my hair I just like to set them in place with a little alligator clip it just allows the curls to set up a little bit and give and give you that little extra volume in the front with any hairstyle, I am going to be teasing my hair. So just using a teasing comb and some hairspray, I'm gonna give the crown of my hair a quick tease. And I allow it to set up like that while I do my makeup. I look ridiculous, but it really helps keep my volume to last all day. I got this new e.l.f. foundation and it's like a dewy foundation. So I thought it would be perfect for, to try for the spring and summer. I like the applicator because it's like a large doe foot. And I don't try to match my face. My face tends to be more pale than the rest of my skin so I try to match my chest or my neck so that seemed like a pretty good match to the rest of my face and I buffed it out guys I love this foundation I have been using it every single day since filming this it is buildable it's not full coverage or anything so I find that if I have any big blemishes or something I'll put a little concealer underneath the foundation I even use my dark uh I even use my dark cream contour underneath the foundation, but it just gives me this really beautiful dewy glow. I'm gonna go in with some contour and I've been using this Morphe shade in Peak of Sienna. It's just a little bit tanner than the foundation. For this, I just use my Real Techniques brush and I buff this out. And then for concealer, I actually have two shades. One is a little uh, darker than the other. So this one is Tan Latte. And these are from e.l.f. Um, so this one I'm gonna put in my normal spots for concealer. And then I'm gonna take this shade, which is even lighter, um, called Light Sand. And I'm just gonna concentrate this one right in like the inner corner. Uh, right in between my brows, tip of the nose, and a little bit, like right in the center of that chin, and even a little there. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of uh, bronzer, and I've just been using this one from Morphe. It's called Bronze Show. If I'm doing like my everyday on camera makeup that I've been doing recently, um, it's, I keep it pretty simple. I can't find anything. I feel like half of my brushes are upstairs still. So. I'm gonna use the same bronzer I just used for my face and just really, really lightly blend this into my crease. Wipe off the brush and go right over it again. I'm gonna use this 
from ColourPop. I think it came from their Plush Like Me collection. And I'm just gonna use this and stipple it over the face a little bit. This is the strangest thing. Okay, I think it's just because half my stuff is like upstairs, half of it's downstairs. I can't find anything. Um, I was trying to find something to do my lips while I was waiting for my face to dry, but I can't even find my sharpener. So I'm just gonna use this lip liner. You think it's Spider-Man? I have a few choices for lipstick. I have a bunch of these lip lingeries. So this is in turn on. I don't know what one I want to do yet. That's turn on. I have a NYX liquid suede, so it's a little bit different. It might be too dark. Yeah, that one's too dark for today. I don't know if you can hear Hunter singing. Um, this one is Hot Caramello. That's even darker. I have Undressed. Which might be our winner today, but it's kind of on the pink side. And I also have, oh, is this turn on? Again, do I have two turn on? Yeah, that's the same shade. I have two of these. <laughs> but I also have a soft matte lip cream from NYX in London. Oh. All right, that's the most nude out of all of them. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Like the most beigey nude. I have a lot of pink nudes, but not a lot of beige nudes. I've just been going easy on my makeup. Um, just pretty much doing on-camera makeup unless I have like a date night or something. I haven't even been putting on fake eyelashes, which is like unheard of me. Um, but I'm getting older. I'm a mom. <laughs> I can't do like the full glam every day. But I will still use my L'Oreal telescopic mascara and I'm just gonna put two coats, uh, two thin coats on my top lashes. Oh, you know what I gotta get today? I gotta go to the store anyway because Ella and I are gonna practice her bike today because it's going to be really nice out um i need to get an eyelash curler that's something i've been meaning to put back in my collection so the next time i do this i'll curl my lashes first but i don't have one today i also don't put it on my bottom lashes um just because i feel like it makes my eyes look a little closed like i feel like if i just put it on the top it makes my eyes look bigger and more youthful only if I'm not doing like a full face of makeup. If I have, you know, eyelashes on, eyeliner, eyeshadow, then I do the bottom lashes. But if it's just a little bit of makeup, I like just sticking to mascara. Last but not least, I have to finish my hair. So obviously my hair has set now, we can brush that all out, but I'm gonna just install my extensions first. And I did off camera, straighten my extensions the exact same way I did my hair and just give them a little tiny flick at the end. And then you don't have to, but I just use little clips um, just to keep the ends kind of... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know what was happening for a sec. Um, just to keep the ends a little curled. So I'm just gonna install Play -Doh. these. Play-Doh. Play-Doh, oh gosh, we're pulling out Play-Doh right now. Wonderful. Play-Doh. Play-Doh. <laughs> Hi, honey. We got Play-Doh. Uh, Play-Doh. I will just speed through this part. Donut. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, donut. And a donut. He's making Play-Doh donuts. Yeah, donut. Good job, buddy. I'm gonna go through again pull up my hair starting at where those braids are in my hair and i'm just gonna go track but i've been wearing extensions for so long that i like have an idea of where they should fit but we'll put my first track right above those braids try to like it doesn't have to be perfectly even around but i try to get a pretty even section I'm just working my way up. I'm avoiding the little pieces that are in front of my ear. I don't like clipping anything to those. They, it gets really annoying if you do. And it kind of tugs on your hair a little bit. 
This one is going right about my ears, where my ears are. The longest track here. So the extension underneath it didn't come all the way to this side. So I'm gonna start on this side to make sure it has enough hair. And then I'm gonna move it this way. If that makes any sense, I hope. So we're on like the last three extensions. So I like to put two more extensions on this side because it has, my hair is parted this way. So it just naturally has more hair on this side where this hair side is just a little thinner. Hold on, baby. <laughs> but for this side, <laughs> oh my God. So for this side, I'm just going to make sure that it's pretty much right underneath where I tease. You use one clip right about here. I have one more three clip one, so I'm gonna use that here. I have one more two clip, and that's just gonna go, I don't even really use my clip. I just kind of take a look at where my hair is naturally falling. So obviously I want enough hair that when my hair is down, that you can't see the tracks underneath. Okay. Okay. Once I think they're all in, make sure they're comfortable, fix any clips that might not feel secure or might be in like a funny spot like this one. I can move it a little bit. Once all my extensions are in, then I'm able to just play with it and style it and fix it however I want. I gotta put you guys back up here because you keep falling, but just going through and fixing up. And the pieces. Give it a little bit more of a wave. That is pretty much it. So that's how I install my extensions from point A to point B. Takes a lot.